Max and welcome back to my channel. Tonight I have for you my winter coat picks. So if you're interested in what that is all about, just keep watching. Okay guys, I have been promising this coat video for a while so I wanted to pop in and share it with you guys. I've got something for everybody. I pretty much have touched on every single trend. These are picks that I am going to participate in in my wardrobe. So I hope that the picks that I'm going to share with you maybe will inspire you to try some of the trends. I'm pretty much going to show you what I think are the hottest trends out there. Um, and I think I've got some pretty cool stuff. So without me rambling on anymore, I'm going to start. I do want to tell you that I did shop at a store that does offer plus size and straight size. So if you are from the straight size and you like what you see, you should be able to find your size and vice versa. I think the stores that I pretty much shopped at go all the way up to 2X. So everything I'm going to show you is offered all the way up to a size 2X. All right. All right. So the hottest coat that you guys or one of the hottest coats that you guys know is going on right now. This is a trend where it's this metallic kind of puffer. And if you got a chance to, I think Kendall Jenner might have been wearing it. And I think I think I saw a couple of other people. But I bought this when it first came out. I saw it. I thought it was just the hottest thing going. I usually see silver. And I wasn't kind of really feeling the silver. I was kind of feeling gold. I'm loving metallics. Like metallics is everything. And I think rose gold and gold looks great on my skin color. Um, and I think gold is just refreshing. I have a lot of silver and I'm loving the silver, but I wanted to add some gold too. So if you see a gold puffer coat, um, whether you get it from the place that I got mine from, and I will link everything I can find below for you guys. This is actually from The Gap. I actually got it 50% off, so I got a really good deal. Um, and I think all the sizes I'm gonna show you today are either large or extra large. Um, and I think this one is an extra large. It's a nice, comfortable, oversized fit. Um, I love the gold with the black zipper. So this is going to look hot if you're wearing like all black underneath. This is a hot coat. Um, I just, I love. All right. So the next thing is this pink puffer coat. I wanted something in pink. I wanted something soft. I wanted an everyday coat. I wanted things that I could put on with my joggers or with my jeans. And so this was my pick. This is light. This is airy, this is soft, it's not gonna add bulk. If you're a plus size woman like I am, I'm like a size 12, 14, you don't want anything that's kind of blow you up super big. And so the coat that I showed you previously and this one is not going to do that. This is a much more of a smart meter fit. Um, and I like the fact that it's lightweight but it's still insulated so it's gonna add some warmth. You are able to put some layers underneath um, however, I won't think I don't think you need a ton of them. Um, I think you would be fine with just a few layers with a coat like that. There's pockets in the coat. It's just a beautiful coat all the way around. Okay. The next one I am going to show you is my dupe for the Acne Studio oversized leather coat, shirling coat. Um, I love this. Again, I picked it in gold because I think this gold looks great against my skin complexion. I love the shirling. I love the material of this one. Some of the ones at Zara I liked, but I just kind of wanted something a little bit extra special. I mean, I had saw burgundy, I saw black, I saw green, but I had never seen gold. So when I saw gold, I'm like, yes. And this one comes with a black zipper. Um, I have quite a few like oversized cream, chunky knit turtleneck sweaters, and I think this is going to look beautiful with it, with light colored jeans. I think this would like make any of your handbags pop, even if you wanted to just wear all black underneath, or pure white underneath would look just absolutely beautiful with this, guys. This is a nice, big, oversized fit. I got it in a extra large. Um, I could have went down to a large, you guys will see in, in the try-on, it is a big roomy oversized fit. So if you want it to not be quite as big as that is on me, I would say um, go down a size. But it's nice and heavy. It's going gonna, it's gonna to keep you warm. Those pockets are just to die for. Um, I think I got that from Gap too. I did a huge shopping haul at Gap. Um, I love Gap for the one-stop shopping. Pretty much I can get... All my basics for me, my son, and my husband 
And I usually go like during the friends or family or when they have one of the extra promotions going off. So everything you're seeing, I got 50% off with an additional 10% off. So I got everything at a really, really good price. So one of the other trends that I am currently loving is a faux fur. This piece right here actually came from Zara. So this is gonna hit right at the like hip. Um, and this is in this chocolate, like it looks like sable almost. It's a beautiful faux fur coat. Last year I wore um, the leopard print coat um, in the faux fur. This year I kind of put that away when it's too big for me now. But I did put it away and I didn't want to do leopard this year. Although ladies leopard is still in. It is a staple, it is a classic piece, so it'll always be in, especially if it's a part of your personal style. But for me, I wanted to try this one. And the way that I envision wearing this, I wanna put it against dark charcoal grays, and I wanna wear it with like casual clothes. Like, So you're gonna see me wear it with jeans and maybe joggers. Like I'm gonna to totally take this out of its dressy element, and I'm gonna make it like super, super cash. Um, and I, you know, can make it dressy too. I'm sure my Manolo Blahniks will like look really, really great against this. But this is a beautiful coat. This is from Zara. Zara does go up to a size 2X. And I believe I might have got it in the large. I think I got it in the large. All right. So one of the other trends um, that I have been super crazy about is the teddy bear coats. And I was kind of concerned if I was going to be able to participate because I was concerned if it was going to just be kind of too bulky on my frame. You know, I am a plus size woman, so I didn't want something that was kind of going to blow me up and make me really look like a teddy bear because that wasn't the look I was going for. So I found this one here and this one is so soft. It's as soft as a robe would be. It's got pockets, it falls below the knee. It's a nice, comfortable, oversized fit. It is a beautiful cream color. I mean, this is just, it's gorgeous. Again, I have pure white that I wanna wear underneath this. This looks good against denim. This is a beautiful coat. I got it in the size large. I think it is a great buy. I think it's a great buy. I got it from Gap too. So again, guys, I'm gonna link everything I can below. So if you wanna participate in the teddy bear trend with the teddy bear coats, I recommend if you're a plus size woman to try to get one that is not super thick and bulky. Um, you wanna get one that's kind of thin but still offers you know that fur look to it. So this is my pick right here. This is a beautiful coat and FYI, this is not sponsored by Gap. I just happened to get a good sale. Okay, so the next coat that I am going to show you, I have been feeling Saint Laurent baby like no other. Um, my husband and I have both gone like Saint Laurent bonkers for the boots and, and for all the different pieces. And I am not ready to invest in anybody's high-end designer coats yet um, because I am still transitioning with my sizes. However, I still wanted the look. So I ended up getting this one from The Gap, which is a direct dupe of one of the Saint Laurent Varsity coats. I think this is awesome. I ordered um, one of the L&M t-shirts to go with this, and I am just gonna do this with black jeans and maybe my sparkly boots, or I even have like some Western boots that I could do this with. I love this look right here. This is a great jacket. This is kind of heavy too. This is um, wool and it has the faux leather here at the top of the sleeve. This is a really cool jacket. It's a nice, smart, sexy fit, but it's still gonna give you that little bit of an edge appeal to it. So this is a great pick. And if you guys notice, I didn't pick a whole bunch of black coats. I wanted to offer color and variety. A lot of times in the winter time, pretty much all you see is a coat. Um, if you're not in my office, <laughs> Or if I'm out and about for the work day, because sometimes I'm not just planted in my office, sometimes I'm out in the field. Um, I will have on, you know, my coat and that's pretty much all you're going to see. So I like to have variety in my coat closet. I like to have like a ton of different options that I can go to because a lot of times I'm wearing the same basics underneath. And the only reason why it looks different may be because of the handbag, the makeup or the coat or something like that. So... That is why I believe in having a nice size coat wardrobe. I think it is a great way to stretch your outfits. It's a great way to give yourself, you know, to freshen up your looks. 
Um, a lot of times, like I said, these coats can be layered with um, different kinds of accessories. You could put brooches on and scarves and all kinds of different things to give it different kinds of looks. But so far, <laughs> I think I've nailed everything that I wanted to nail. So I think I've got, you know, some pretty cool pieces. The next piece, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have saw this. This is the man's tweed jacket, but it's actually a women's coat. It's kind of like a car coat, but it's made like a man's coat. Um, it's the tweed with the pockets here on the side. This is actually from Levi Strauss. Um, this is in the extra large. I love this coat. I think this is chic. It looks great if you want to wear it professionally. What I also like about it, it looks cool if you just want to put a graphic tee underneath it and put on, you know, your mom jeans with, you know, I, I wore it with Manolo Blahniks, the mom jeans and like the Levi t-shirt, the white with the red. And it was a really, really cute look. So I think this is a great coat if you want to participate in it. If you did not get a chance to get a blazer um, for fall and you want to go ahead and do the coat, you could do that. And you can layer this up and still be warm and still get, you know, to participate in that kind of like plaid old man coat trend. Okay. Now, some of my dressier coats, I typically will wear... Um, everybody pretty much has a camel coat in their wardrobe and everybody pretty much has, you know, a long black coat. What I didn't have was a nice soft gray coat. So I saw this one. I saw one at Aritzia. I bought the Aritzia one. I took it back because I found this one at like half the price of the Aritzia one. And it gave me the same look, the same material, the same feel. And I really, really like this one. This is a soft, soft gray. It's an oversized, like, maxi coat. It's um, it's going to hit you right at the ankle, a little bit above. It's got pockets. It's got buttons. Um, you can tie it so you can have that kind of robe effect to it. It's going to make things look professional if you want to. I think this is going to look beautiful against soft pink. It'll look gorgeous against white. Of course, it's going to look nice against your blacks. But this is a really well-made coat. And again, if you can find these pieces like 50% off at Gap or places like that, I think these are really great, you know, great additions to add. Okay, guys. And the final piece I have is this tan color micro suede coat from Zara. Um, it is a tan trench coat. So it is made off of the style of a trench. It is made in that kind of microfiber um, material. So it feels like micro suede, I should say, material. It is very soft. It has very much a classic design of a trench. So it's going to offer you the belt and the flaps and the buckles on the sleeves, like all the details that a typical trench will, but it's going to be in that softer fabric. Now, what I like about it is that I feel like it kind of inspires me to do Western. So the way I plan on using this, this is a coat that I will introduce um, towards the end of winter, around early spring, like February, March. And I will wear like a big, huge Western belt around it. I'll take the belt off. And so it will be something that you'll see me wear with cowboy boots and jeans and just all my kind of Western inspired pieces. I think this is going to look gorgeous against the color turquoise and chocolate brown and cognacs. Like all those colors that kind of make you think about the Western trend. Um, this is a great piece to have because it's part of Zara Basics. I want to say that it's probably still there. It is a really generous cut. Um, it's a really great jacket. It is going to offer me some variety in my wardrobe so that I'm not wearing the same trench coat every time spring comes. Now, I saw this fabric and I saw the details and the way that it was made and how soft it was and how I felt like it kind of gave off um, a very classic Ralph Lauren vibe. Um, when Ralph Lauren was Ralph Lauren in his heyday, I thought I could really kind of take this to the next level. So that is all of my picks for the winter coat trends. I hope you guys found some things that you like. I hope um, that it inspired you to maybe try some of the trends and not to kind of like play it safe all the time. Although playing it safe is great if that is a reflection of your personal style. However, I did want to share some, some different ways to kind of, you know, spruce up the wardrobe a little bit. That's all, you guys. That's everything I have for you guys tonight. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll holler at you guys later. Peace.